Hello and welcome to the last or the fifth and final video on creating a strong brand identity. And yes, um, Stephen Kuhn uh, coming to you. If you've missed it so far and you're looking at this last one first, please go back and do all the other ones before you do this one. This one is probably the one most important ones that you'll ever do when it comes to your brand. Mission vision is great, but your value proposition is key. Your value proposition is where people are going to look to see what the heck's going on. A brand positioning statement, which is a value proposition, is one or two sentence statements that clearly articulates your product or services, unique value, and how it benefits customers. The positioning statement or the value proposition must define the audience, define the category in which the brand exists. It must cite a clear product or service benefit, set your brand apart from your competitors, and instill confidence that the brand will deliver on its promise. Wow. A brand positioning statement is a one or two sentence statement that clearly articulates your product or service's unique value and how it benefits customers. The positioning statement must define the audience, define the category in which your brand exists, cite a clear product and service benefit, set your brand apart from your competitors, and instill confidence that the brand will actually deliver on its promise. So let's look at how it, it works when you're crafting a positioning statement. Consider the following. What, how, who, where, why? When? Now, write this down on a piece of paper. What? Next row. How? Next row. Who? Next row. Where? Next row. Why? And then after that, when? What? How? Who? Where? Why? When? Then you're going to write this. After what? What? You write the only and leave it. Then you write how. Beside how, you write that and that's it. After who, you write for. That's it. After where, you write in. That's it. And after why, you write who. And after when, you write during. So you should have what, the only, how, that, who, for, where, in, why, who, when, during. Sounds funny, right? But let me check this out. I'll read the whole thing to you. What, the only category. How, that, differentiation characteristic. For who? Customer, which customer? In where, what geographic location? Why, who needs it? What's the need state and when, during what underlying trend? And you're like, oh my God, Steve, this is super complicated. Well, let me read it to you how complicated it is. What? We're talking about Harley Davidson now. Used to determine, the Harley Davidson used this to determine their positioning statement. They actually use this formula to, 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 to determine their positioning statement. So what? The only motorcycle manufacturer. How? that makes big, loud motorcycles. Who? For macho guys and macho wannabes. Where? Mostly in the United States. Why? For, for those who want to join a gang of cowboys. When? In an era of decreasing personal freedom. So, Harley Davidson is the only motorcycle manufacturer that makes big, loud motorcycles for macho guys and macho wannabes, mostly in the United States, who want to join a gang of cowboys in an era of decreasing personal freedom. Wow, not amazing. So what? The only motorcycle manufacturer? How? That makes big, loud motorcycles? Who? For macho guys and macho wannabes? Where? Mostly in the United States. Why? Who want to join a gang of cowboys? When? In an era of decreasing personal freedom. Now, I'm going to give you some examples because this is really uh, ex excellent and fun. So I'm going to give you um, six orchards. We produce the only plant-based goods made primarily with botanical ingredients for those families around the world who want certainty and who care about high quality natural products, free of harmful additives and who seek truthly, truly authentic solutions which are safe and do the job when, during a time where you'll never really know what's inside a product. Boom, I love that. That was so good. I think she did such a great job. Let me talk about Pando Mission, which was, a coin-based network marketing company. The first network marketing company that backs digital currency with natural resources for those who see the potential in their communities in joining with others to improve the environment while building a business and creating wealth in these economically challenging times. When, right? In these economic challenging times. Let's look at Labby Lights. That might be difficult because in German, I might save you from that. <laughs> um, let's see if I can translate it. It takes a while. The only network marketing company with vibrational creations for all the cells in every living um, org organism for bodily and spiritual uh, well-being 
and for financial security in a time of global change on every level. You see, they're very spiritual in that company, right? Um, how about the Helden, the, the heroes of the day? The Helden, it's, it's, I, I love it because it's called the Heroes of Today, and it's a women's club, so it's a great, so the, the women of today. So The women from today is the only fitness studio that with, with EMS, um, power plate, yoga, and superfood um, that is offered for women, or sorry, for heroes of, the all, of every day. In your near to become sexy, healthy, and happy um, when you just need time for yourself. I mean, it's, I know sexy in Europe, it's still okay. In America, it's not, but it's just, it's just what it is, right? So let me give you Healthier You, which was the, um, the chiropractor. The only chiropractic facility that uses collective knowledge and skills of doctors, trainers, and therapists for those who seek personalized results in Northern Palm Beach County, wanting to reach their optimal health potential during a confusing era of what health actually is and how to restore and to retain it. These are all some really, really good examples. Let me show you Beauty Organics as well as another example. Beauty Organics is the first internal cosmetic manufacturer using modern science inspired by ancient beauty secrets for those who strive to maintain and regain youthfulness on a global scale, who care about their body and the environment during a time of confusion about what truly works in a healthy and ecologically responsible manner. Wow. I mean, you cannot get this if you sit and go, hey, what's our value proposition? What, what's our positioning statement? What do you think we should say? Well, we do this. We do. It doesn't work. You got to do the other work first. You got to do the other four ones first. And once you get through all that work, you're going to see, wow, now I can do my value proposition quite easily. This is what it's all about, right? This is where you want to get to. You want to be able to be able to create a message that everyone understands, right? So now what? Let's start. Let's just start from the very beginning. A vision statement describes what you want your company to become in the future. A mission statement defines the purpose of the company. It should be both motivational to employees and customers. A brand's essence is the representation of the company's heart and soul, heart, soul, and spirit, and is best described with one word. Remember, it's how someone feels about um, um, how someone feels about your brand. And it's not a logo. Then we have the personality of the brand. Right, it describes the way a brand speaks, behaves, thinks, acts, and reacts. It's the personification of the brand. Apple's young and cool. Remember, the positioning statement must define the audience, define the category in which the brand exists, cite a clear product or service, benefit, set your brand apart from your competitors, and is still confident in the brand will deliver on its promise. What's this all going to be used for once you move forward? Internal and external alignment. Adaptable communication for marketing and PR and internal communication to future clients, businesses, members, staff, management, and anyone who ever asks anything about the company. What do you think about all that? Huh? So that, my friends, is developing a strong brand identity. And if you just do this little bit of work that we just went through, it'll probably take you three hours if you do it on your own. But this is probably one of the best invested times that you'll ever have for your business. Because when your message is clear, you don't have to worry about marketing. You don't have to worry about catchy strap lines. You don't have to worry about what do I use on my ad. You use what you came up with. Why? Because it's the exact personification, the exact message, the exact value of your brand. I hope you all had a lot of, a lot of benefit from this. I'm sure you did. Uh, and if you'd like to know more, if you'd like to hear more, if you'd like to have a session with myself directly, you just let me know. You can write me, contact me, and we can set up a time. We also do it online. Uh, it's very grueling. I, am, I, must, I must say, if I do it in person, I typically start out like this, and by the end, I'm in a t-shirt because I'm sweating because we really dig deep. And the, the most unique part about this entire process is that we have everyone from the cleaning crew to the CEO in the room, and we go through the entire process with everyone. Now, can you imagine your company with everyone involved in it sitting there developing the messaging and the language for your company. How powerful do you think that would be? And how much of a culture of togetherness and belief and ownership do you think that would create for your company? You see, as a leader over the last 25 years, and I use that term um, not loosely, so I've led very big companies, corporate companies, my own companies, organizations, nonprofits, hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars. Leadership is about a few things, but the main thing that I find a leader is responsible for is the culture in the company. Is it productive? Is it nurturing? 
what is it? What kind of a, what, what kind of a culture does it have? Do people want to go to work? Do they want to learn from the leader? Do they follow the leader without the leader saying, follow me? That's a culture. The culture is what makes a decision. It's not the structure. It's not the procedures. It's not the, it's not the job description. It's not the accountability. It's the culture. How do I feel about the company that I work for? That's true leadership when you get that down. And this, what we're talking about here, when you include, include the entire company in this process, you're going to find out real quick what it means to have a team that fights together and wins together. And that, my friends, that right there, that literally creates out of blue, thin air, quality of life. We'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.